Did you know that sometimes the underdog is the better route? So if you're looking for a really comfortable, really nicely styled van, we do a range called the TT. And I'm gonna show you, well, me stood next to a completely standard van, and then me stood next to a TT van, and I'm just gonna show you around that van. It's really hard to talk about a completely standard van, um, but this is a pure grey 204 panel van and it's completely standard. And we build some really big, baller, shouty vans and, um, and that's what we're known for. But every now and then, we want to produce something that's a little bit more subtle, a little bit more Euro inspired. And um, how do we get this lovely base panel van to look really, really cool without going too mental, like one of the TTRCs or, or similar. Well, we have a range called the TT. Uh, it just stands for Transport or Transformation. And it's a really nice little, little build, actually. It's got a little um, gloss black lip that's not exclusive to us. You can buy them from, from multiple places. Uh, lower suspension, some wheels, and then we'll do, uh, do a comfort line in there and add some cool bits of leather and add some colours on to, to make it pop a little bit more. And it's just really interesting. Uh, Jordan's here today doing some video in and uh, this is on the forecourt ready to go through transformation. But at the same time, this is being parked up here. Uh, we've had a TT come out for, for a customer who's had it all designed. It's, it's really cool. It's got some nice bits of orange on. It's quite shouty. There'll be some B-roll showing it all looking epic. Uh, but it's just really nice to be actually, to be able to see the difference of what not a huge amount of investment can do. So um, all of our vans start off as a twin slider with soft closed doors and LED lights and navvy and all the stuff that you would kind of want on a on a decent transporter uh, specification. And, and also it's really important that the transporter spec is worthy of the conversion that we're gonna be putting onto it. So it's like a house. You know, you go and buy a house for a couple 300 grand. You don't wanna go stick another couple 300 grand's worth of extension on it because it's just not viable. So we always start off with something quite, quite big. Now, um, this is our TT. is absolutely epic it is such a nice build and can you see what i mean about it being really euro inspired so it's a very smooth lines it's really crisp this is just a t6.1 in its raw form slightly lower to get the the uh, the ride really comfortable and a little bit more car like that lovely little gloss black splitter um, which really complements the gloss black optics i just wanted to show you just how nice the TT is and we sell an awful lot of them and we build oodles and oodles but I just haven't had the opportunity to have one just finished uh, with Jordan with you with you here man so um, let me show you around it's absolutely awesome so the TT is um, is a really simple but very refined build um, we've lowered the vehicles by 50 mil on a comfort spring. We marry it up with a set of 18s with a comfort tire and we do that so it is truly the most car-like transporter that you can own without having to go mental on air and coilovers and all that kind of jazz. And then we give it a couple bits of black optic. So all the mirrors, bases and bevels, radiator grills, air ram grill, fog light dog bone grills and all that stuff gets done in the gloss black just to really get the paintwork popping. It's worth mentioning that we don't use the aftermarket gloss black panels that you can buy readily from, from anywhere. We actually take all the factory uh, trims and painstakingly 
sand them and demottle them and paint them and um, we just guaranteed that the quality is always going to be there if we use the genuine VW panels. A little front end lip, B-roll will show that, and, um, and a little sidebar. It's also worth talking about the sidebar because an awful lot of people, and it's pretty widely thought that this is a styling bar. Yes, it definitely drops the seal down a little bit and it does look really cool, but it's there for two reasons. It's to protect the sill mainly, um, and it's also to make sure that you don't go bumping it or scratching it if you, corner, if you cut a corner too short. So um, these guys, generally speaking, they'll last three years, they'll get a load of rash on the front and then eventually just change them, but they're, they're not a particularly expensive part. So back to our T2 van, um, part of the gloss black optics is always a slight smoke on the rear lights, which um, when we've got a van with LED lights looks really, really nice. Tinted rear glazing, complemented by a little spoiler there. This particular van has got a platinum interior. This van does not have a platinum interior. This van has got a gold interior. with an optional bulkhead, which is really cool. These come from the factory and um, they really help keep it refined in the cab. Full leather interior and a sports bolster and everyone knows what the, the Van Haven seats look like and the the, uh, the B-roll will show that off really nicely. Um, and the customer has asked for a leisure battery, a diesel heater and a, a fridge so he can have his pat lunch cold. We're always up for doing little adapt adaptations to the van. So I know in the past I keep badgering on about tool for the job. Well, this, this van's gonna need to be able to take some quite long bits and I think they're surfboards or suckboards or whatever. So we've created a little hatch here, which is removable. Um, and that will then allow this seat to be taken out completely and a nice long load to come through. That was actually really hard work because the factory bulkhead, when you cut that much out, suddenly turns into this wibbly wobbly bit of plastic. So the boys have had to like build some epic framework and uh, it's worked really well, it's really cool. There's the back of our hatch. So it just gets fixed in place with some bolts, um, which can be really easily removed. And then we've got a little hanger up there, which is being carpeted because we didn't want it to be too visible, really. We wanted it to kind of melt in. Um, and so all the works clothes can go up there when they're all wet and gnarly. And there's a diesel heater outlet there to keep them dry. So we really do, when we, when we, when we, when we chat to a customer and find out what their van has got to do for them, we really try our hardest to make sure that there is never going to be any pain or any frustration when they're using the van. The TT, in my opinion, is the underdog of our range. Um, I've just taken this van out for a drive just up the road just to see how she rides and, and, and kind of really get connected with it before standing in front of uh, the camera and chatting about it. And it does just feel like driving a normal saloon car. It's so comfortable, really quiet, really refined, and, um, and it looks the absolute part. It just shows you don't have to go ballistic to have a beautiful looking transporter. And um, I'm gonna end this piece on the TT, in my opinion, has to be the coolest whisper out there.